Section 7.1, Simplifying Radicals with Odd and Even Nth Roots. Here we have square root, cube root, fourth roots, there's even, fifth roots, sixth roots, and so on. When we write the nth root, the n is called the index. If it is 2, we don't write any index there. It's understood that it is a, an index of 2 or what we refer to as a square root. When we have an even index, every positive real number has two real roots, one positive and one negative. When it's even, we're looking for the non-negative root. And often we have to include absolute value signs, but these instructions in this particular example tell us to assume no radicands, that would be the quantity referred to underneath the radical, were formed by raising negative quantities to even powers. So we're off the hook providing the absolute value signs. It's a general rule just to cover basis and the definition of an even index to include the absolute value sign, but because of the instructions here, we can answer it simply by putting the answer of what number, or in this case, expression times itself gives us 25x squared, since 5 times x times 5x is 25x squared, we have simplified the problem. And again, just because of the instructions, we aren't required to have the principal root here because of the assumption. Otherwise, if that hadn't been specified, we would have included absolute value signs on the variable. When you're taking an odd root, and we are here in this problem, we're taking the cube root initially of the quantity x plus 3, the quantity squared, it will have exactly one root. Odd roots of positive numbers are positive, and odd roots of negative numbers are negative. We need an odd number of negatives to give us a negative number. Well, with a variable, we're not clear what that value is unless the variable is assigned a specific value. So simplifying this, we're just going to take the cube root of something to the third power is that value. It is an x plus 3. And the only reason we're putting a minus sign is because they're asking us to take the opposite of our simplification here of this radical. In this next problem, they're asking us to take the fourth root of 256 to the times y to the fourth power. What times what times what gives us 256? And if you take that number and break it down, you end up finding that 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 is 256. Y to the fourth would be Y. Under normal circumstances, without the special instructions, to ensure that we have the non-negative root, we would put absolute value signs around our y, but in this case, because again of the instructions, we're safe by just answering 4y for our solution.